In this video, we're going to show you how to identify a list of public fire servers that you can use for testing. Uh, typically in your organization, you probably already have a fire server or you will be working with a client's fire server, but there's typically safeguards and other things in that fire server, which you really don't want to be tinkering around with unless you know what you're doing. So we're, for this example, we're just going to use a public fire server that you can use to test. And there's a link in the video below it that you can find uh, and you can copy and paste. Otherwise, on my screen right now is that same exact link. I'm just going to hit enter to navigate to that. It's the very first result called public test servers. I'm going to click that. And I'm going to scroll all the way right down. If you want to read this, you can. just talks a little bit more about some of the logistics uh, and details of fire servers. One of my favorite to use is the Happy Fire Server. Um, it just has a lot of the examples that we want to handle. And it has this nice little list of different fire versions that we're interested in. As you already know from some of our earlier lectures, that Fire R4 is the one that was uh, in the 21st Century Cures Act. So we're going to use that endpoint. But as of probably a month or two ago, everyone, uh, the R4 is now released as well. So you may be seeing folks beginning to use R5. But for our example, we're going to go ahead and continue using R4. And all we're going to do is we just need to know the URL of that fire server. Uh, something to note here is you do see that the name is called endpoint here. That's just another way of describing a the fire URLs or the fire server. Um, it's more common with developers to use the term endpoints. Uh, we can just call them URLs or fire the location of the fire server. But basically, we want to copy this URL. I'm going to tab back over to my Postman and just copy it in here where we're going to place that fire server URL.